Joining me now is a special envoy to the United Nations for what's known as the Union Parliament of Myanmar. It's Dr. Sasa. His group of deposed former civilian leaders have formed the National Unity Government uh, in opposition to Myanmar's junta. Um, the group wasn't invited to Saturday's ASEAN summit. Sir, you said ahead of that meeting uh, that um, any meeting that includes the murderer-in-chief of Myanmar won't help the country. Be that as it may, he was invited and he did attend. Do you see any evidence that the agreement made uh, there at the ASEAN summit to end the violence is being implemented? Do you see any evidence on the ground? Today, once again, the murderer-in-chief Ming Aula himself make a statement and say ASEAN five points will be considered only when the stability returns. This is the military generals knows for telling lies, knows for the crime against humanity and the cleansings, and there is no way that these ASEAN five points will be implemented under the watch of this mandra and chief. Right from the beginning, we have been giving the warning to ASEAN that this ASEAN summit result will be found on the ground in Myanmar, world killing stop, world political prisoner release, world terrorizing of 54 million people of Myanmar stop. Will they return the power to elected government of Myanmar? All those results, uh, until they achieve, is no meaning. Your, the, the deposed National Unity uh, Government of Myanmar wasn't invited to this ASEAN summit. I just wonder what it was like to watch from the sidelines as the military general represented Myanmar on the world stage. And did this legitimise his rule? It's very painful. It was a shame day for ASEAN to organize the meeting without the people of Myanmar. We have made it very clear right from the beginning, anything to do with the future of Myanmar must include the people of Myanmar. They include Mandra in chief to talk about us. We have no future with these military generals the killer, they are the criminals. We have no any democracy or freedom under these people. So inviting Ming Aulai, shame ASEAN, ASEAN. And it shame the reputation of ASEAN, the dignity of ASEAN, and he just went and destroyed it. So now as we see, he come back, he boasting that he was accepted in the meeting. Now he is killing more people. Right. Therefore, any ASEAN well, brothers and evidence... sisters country. Sorry, I I, uh, I interrupted you there. Let me let me press on. As evidence in CNN's reporting, um, the military is using increasingly brutal tactics against civilians. The Tat Mador is, as the military is known, has a standing force of up to half a million men. Soldiers within its ranks live separately to civilians and many will describe them as bread, bread to kill. What will happen to the people of Myanmar if the international community doesn't intervene, if nothing more is achieved than a summit where a five-point sort of communique was issued, and if the military is left unchallenged? Last time you and I talked was about three weeks ago, and you said you feared that things could get an awful lot worse. And you talked about a civil war. Is that still your concern? Let us be very clear. 54 million people of Myanmar have said, enough is enough. To live under this oppressive, brutal, cruel regime, we don't want it. We want to die than to live under this mandra. Night after night, 
day after day, terrorizing its own people is not going to work. These military generals are known for brutality for the last seven decades. We have said enough is enough. It's better for us to die than to live under these murderers. Right from the beginning, we have been saying about the great civil war, which is already begun. Now they almost kill now 1,000 people as we speak. If the death toll reached 10,000 people, it will be declared mm. as genocide. Okay. At that time, the national community action will have no meaning. You, you, let me let me briefly um, close with this. You're in an undis undisclosed location. That's for your own safety. Uh, your life and the lives of those in the deposed government are still very much under threat. Uh, we've got 45 seconds. What is your message to the world right now on behalf of that civilian government? Please engage with elected government of Myanmar, which is national unity government of Myanmar, to prevent this great civil war, which will add up in genocide. World Food Programme has predicted that 3 million people of Myanmar are going to go for hunger in these coming months. All this needs to be prevented before it's too late. We need tougher, stronger international action. No more words, but actions. With that, we'll leave it there. We thank you very much indeed for joining us.